want to show you an easy way to shrink a mold using your original and make it a mold the same way you normally would. You take your original, glue it down to a mold base, seal off any areas where you don't want the silicone to flow through. Here we're using tape. And construct a mold box around your piece, the same way you would if you were just making a regular mold. Glue and seal the box down to the base. This is very important and I'll show you why in a minute. The trick of the shrinking your mold comes with how you mix your silicone. You're going to mix your silicone still 10 to 1 by weight. Here we're using the high strength 2. But we're going to add a part C or a third component and that's odorless mineral spirits. Odorless mineral spirits is a, a solvent that can be added to the silicone. Here we're using about 30% by weight. So we still use the base in the catalyst in a 10 to 1 ratio. But for instance, if we had 100 grams, we would add 30 grams of odorless mineral spirits. This will greatly thin down the silicone. And as you can see here, it actually leaked out our mold box. That's why it's very, very important to seal the mold. So we had to mix up more silicone using that same 30% mix ratio and top it off. Now once the silicone cures, we want to demold it and remove it from the mold box. We then cut our mold to remove our original. And the trick of this is now to leave the silicone out and let it air dry for at least seven days. What happens is the silicone will not contain the odorless mineral spirits and the odorless mineral spirits will evaporate or flash off. When the odorless mineral spirits evaporate, the mold condenses or shrinks because the structure of the silicone is still there. This takes time and it needs to be open to the air. That's why it's important to remove it from the mold box as soon as you can. But you have to be more careful with the silicone because it's much more fragile with all those odorless mineral spirits in it. Once the mold is shrank, after a good seven days, go ahead and cast your pieces as you normally would. Here we're downsizing a, a large fishing lure and we want to make it a little bit smaller. We had some leftover silicone so we made a little bulldog here uh, that was used as a beer tap. For reference you can see how the mold in the original pipe has shrank. You can also see how the original no longer fits in the mold because it's simply too big. But the cast piece that we made fits in fine. This gives you a little better perspective of how much the mold will shrink. You can also see the difference in the two, the original as well as the cast replica. Here you can see it in the lures that we actually made. The mold shrank approximately 15%. There's no set amount of odorless mineral spirits that gives you an exact shrinkage. Every part's going to be different. And doing two-piece molds are even going to be tougher because the two sides need to shrink proportionally. This really works well for doing one-piece molds. And as I said, the smaller the mold, the larger percentage of shrink you can expect. If you have specific questions on the process or you'd like a little more help, feel free to give us a call or contact us at Illumilite.